Hello everyone. So today we are going to verify Thevenin's and maximum power transfer theorem. So our objective is to verify the Thevenin's theorem and hence to verify maximum power transfer theorem. So students the statement of Thevenin's theorem is that it is possible to simplify any linear circuit irrespective of how complex it is to an equivalent circuit with a single voltage source and a series resistance. In other words, if you have any complex network and you would like to measure the voltage response of that original circuit, then you can construct or you can design the equivalent circuit diagram of original circuit which is known as Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Now I would like to show you the circuit diagram. You can see here ki we are using low voltage supply. We are giving here 6 volt and we are using 3 resistances. R1, R2, R3 and their values are already given here. R1 is 200 ohm, R2 is 600 ohm, R3 is 100 ohm. You can see here R1 and R2 are in series and R3 is connected in parallel and we have connected load resistance uh, across this and we would like to measure the output voltage of this original circuit using multimeter from these two points. Uh, student, this is the observation table that we are going to use. You can see here the first column corresponds to load resistance which is given in ohm. The second column corresponds to voltage response of the original circuit across different load resistance that you will draw from the resistance box and the third column is the voltage response of Thevenin's equivalent circuit across the same load resistance and the last column which is PRL that you have to calculate using this particular formula VRL square upon RL and the VRL that you will note down from here that will correspond to original circuit. So you will square the voltage and you will divide by the respective load resistance that you have taken and you will calculate the uh, power. So students let us go to the experimental setup for doing this experiment and we would like to verify Thevenin's theorem. Student, uh, this is the resistance box you can see here. We are using R1, R2, R3 and the respective value is already mentioned R1 200 ohm, R3 100 ohm, R1 600 ohm and you can see from here the rest, uh, resistance that, uh, that we have already connected in this box and their values are already mentioned. This is the uh, low voltage uh, DC power supply you can see here we are using and this is the experimental uh, setup board or kit that we are using to verify Thevenin's and maximum power transfer theorem and you can see the, the resistances that we are using R1, R2, R3 and this is the load and this is the ground point and here we are uh, we can view, uh, measure the output voltage across this load resistance and this is the resistance box that we will draw the load resistance like 50, 100 ohm, 150, 200 ohm, 250 ohm and this is the multimeter that we are using to measure the output voltage. Student, uh, now we are going to connect the circuit diagram you can see the positive terminal of the we are going to connect this battery and now we will connect the resistance R1 
similarly we will connect r2 600 ohm now similarly we can also connect r3 which is 100 ohm and now we would like to connect the resistance box for taking different load resistance now we will connect the multimeter for taking the output voltage so now we will on the switch on the power supply the power supply at 6 you can see here now our circuit is ready and now we will measure the voltage response of this original circuit now we will take 50 ohm resistance from the resistance box and we will see the output voltage corresponding to this load resistance which is 0.74 volt so that will we will note down in this particular column the voltage response of original circuit corresponding to 50 ohm load resistance which is coming 0.74 100 ohm resistance and you will see the output voltage which is coming 1.27 that we will note down in this column similarly you can take 150 ohm resistance and you will see the output voltage which is 1.67 this is the our complete setup for the or uh, voltage response of the original circuit corresponding to these load resistances similarly now we will design the equivalent uh, circuit of this original which is thevenis nucleon uh, equivalent circuit using this circuit diagram and for doing this uh, thevenin's equivalent circuit we need to calculate rt and et you can see rt can be calculated using the following formula r3 plus r1 into r2 upon r1 plus r2 and et can be calculated by using this formula er2 upon r1 plus r2 and here prl is power across rl when we, we will calculate it when we will verify maximum power transfer theorem these are the values of r1 r2 r3 and in first part we use 6 volt uh, power sub dc power supply and when we will calculate rt it comes out to 50 ohm and et comes out 4.5 volt now we are going to use another resistance box and we will fix this 250 ohm constant throughout the uh, experiment in second part and this et that we will fix now 4.5 volt earlier it was at 6 volt so student now we are going to to de design thevenin's now we are going to design thevenin's equivalent circuit diagram you can see here uh, here we are using the supply voltage 4.5 volt and in series there is a uh, thevenin's resistance which you have to keep constant uh, 250 ohm and this is the load resistance that you will connect and you will measure the output voltage across this load resistance here how we are going to construct the circuit you see the positive supply of the battery is connected here and the negative is these are the ground terminal the ground point and another additional resistance that we will connect here in series and this point will be connected here and this is the load resistance that we have to 
connect here and this is the and this is the output voltage that we will measure from here and let us check we will and student now we will set this supply at 4.5 volt which we have already calculated using the formula ET I have already explained you uh, ET is equal to ER2 upon R1 plus R2. Now I will draw 50 ohm resistance and see the voltage response. You can see here ki, uh, corresponding to 50 ohm resistance we are getting output voltage 0 0.74. So this we will note down the voltage response of Thevenin's equivalent circuit corresponding to 50 ohm which is coming 0 0.74. Now we will take 100 ohm resistance and we will see here uh, what is the reading in the multimeter the voltage response of the Thevenin's equivalent which is 1.28. Now we will take 150. You can see here the, uh, the reading is coming 1.68. So you can see the, uh, this particular column key we have note down the voltage response of the Thevenin's equivalent circuit corresponding to these load resistance and it is equal. You see this is the voltage response of the original circuit and this is the voltage response of the Thevenin's equivalent circuit corresponding to these load resistance and it is almost equal and hence this verified the Thevenin's theorem. Now another part in which we have to verify maximum power transfer theorem you can calculate PRL using this formula VRL square upon RL VRL that you will choose the voltage response of original circuit that you will square and divide it by the corresponding load resistance and you will note down in this column power corresponding to each load resistance. Experiment is to verify maximum power transfer theorem. You can see the data table on the last column we have calculated power using the formula VRL square upon RL. As I told you earlier the VRL that we have calculated from the original circuit corresponding to each load resistance and we have calculated in this manner and here just for the sake of simplicity uh, we have uh, round off or we have transferred the, this decimal point after the 10. So this is nothing but 10.95 into 10 is to power minus 3 and corresponding to each load resistance. And now we are going to show you how we have plotted on the graph paper. Uh, here on x axis we are plotting load resistance and on y axis we are plotting power. And you can see this is the nature of the graph that we are getting and you can see uh, from here we are getting maximum power corresponding to load resistance 250 ohm and the maximum power that we are getting uh, about 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So, the maximum power is transferred from a source to a load when the impedance of the load is equal to the complex conjugate of the impedance of the source. Maximum power transfer theorem has a lot of applications in electrical engineering and one of the application is that in, aud in audio systems maximum power transfer theorem is used to match the output impedance of an amplifier with the input impedance of the speaker. This confirms that the speaker receives the maximum power from the amplifier 
resulting in better sound quality thank you very much